Our program has been made, but it does not yet contain any of the other metadata we have created. Our next step in this process is to therefore assign the data elements to our program so our program can utilize them. From the Program Management screen, I will select the program that I have made. Select the Assign Data Elements tab, which will allow you to add in the data elements and associate them with the program. In order to do this, we will search for them and add them to our program. Using the filled in template as reference, I am going to select the data elements that belong to the program. I can first enter in my username to add in any data elements I created for use in this program. I can click on the Assign All button in order to assign all of the data elements that are filtered out. I can then search for the remaining data elements that I need to add to this program. I am just double clicking on the data elements as they are filtered out in order to add them to my program. Note that I can also use the arrow buttons located in the middle. For example, I can click on the data element, then select the arrow button in the middle to move it from my filter to the program. I'm going to remove the filtered text in order to see the data elements I have added to the program. If we review what we've added to the program with our filled in template, we can see that all of the data elements are there. After you have assigned all of the data elements to the program, if you scroll down, you will see there are a number of additional configuration options for each data element that you have added. While we will cover some of these configuration options within this demonstration, please refer to the documentation link found in the Activities section for a more detailed overview on each individual configuration option that is seen here. Let's have a look at some of the options and why they might be useful. Compulsory means that the value of this data element must be filled in to the data entry form before you can complete the event. It is a good idea to make at least one data element compulsory so you are not receiving reports with no information filled in. Let us make the ICD-10 diagnosis compulsory in this example. We will just scroll down to this data element and check the box in order to make this data element compulsory. The Display and Reports option allows you to show or hide the value of each data element in different reports. This includes on the front page list within Capture, or when clicking on an individual event in the event layer within the Maps app, for example. We should always be careful what we are allowing to be displayed in the event identifiable information is being collected. By default, these are all disabled. In our example, we will enable Display and Reports for Diagnosis ICD-10, Mode of Discharge, Pregnant, and Sex. We do this by clicking on the icon within the Display and Reports column. Date in Future is available only on date, data element types, such as date of admission and date of discharge. If this is selected, it will allow the user to select a date in the future for the particular data element. In our example, we will not be allowing any dates in the future to be entered. For descriptions of the remaining fields, please consult the link in the documentation as discussed in the activity area of this subsection. It is always a good idea to save your progress before continuing. Go ahead and scroll down 
and click on the Save button at the bottom to save your data element configuration. Assigning our data elements to the program is now complete. Please give this a try in the associated activity before proceeding to the next section.